Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Australia has signed a history-making agreement with Tuvalu in the South Pacific. Here's Michelle with all the details. The island country of Tuvalu is facing the impacts of climate change firsthand. Sea levels just keep rising and rising. They're threatening homes, destroying crops, and could one day make it impossible for people to live there. It was a big topic at last week's Pacific Islands Forum, where our Prime Minister made a big announcement. The most significant agreement between Australia and a Pacific Island nation ever. This partnership stands as a beacon of hope. Australia has offered to resettle up to 280 people from Tuvalu every year under a new visa system, which will let them live, work and study here if they can't live in their own country anymore. I believe that developed nations have a responsibility to provide assistance and that is precisely what we are doing. While some people see this as a very positive thing, others aren't as happy and think we should be doing more to phase out fossil fuels so nobody has to leave their home because of climate change. This can't be a norm. This has to be the ex a massive exception. Most of the people in Tuvalu want to remain on their beautiful islands. Next year's Grammy nominations are in, and it's a pretty female-dominated list. SZA, Miley Cyrus, Victoria Monet, Billie Eilish and Olivia Rodrigo led the way. Oh, and we can't forget about Taylor Swift. The pop superstar broke another record with her seventh nom in the Song of the Year category, this time for Antihero. Meanwhile, the Barbie movie scored 12 nominations, including one for this banger. I'm just kidding. It's been a big weekend of footy, cricket and uh, dancing in sport. Here's Kale. I'm not sure anyone saw this coming. This has been utter dominance. North Melbourne have defeated reigning Premier's Melbourne by 41 points in the AFLW qualifying final, with the Kangaroos' Talia Randall booting three goals. Celebration time for the Kangas! Meanwhile, in the other qualifying final, the Adelaide Crows lost in a nail-biter to the Brisbane Lions, going down by two points. That is a brilliant goal! It means the Crows will face the Sydney Swans next week, while Melbourne will take on Geelong. Over to the Cricket World Cup, and Mitch Marsh has helped the Aussies to a dominating win against Bangladesh. It's just easy power. The Aussie all-rounder whacked 177 runs from 132 balls, on the way to a cruisy eight-wicket win. Lofted away over square leg. And finally, this is the dancing you've been waiting for. For a little bit of context, this is the Fast Five netball series, where before each game, teams run through a choreographed dance routine. Obviously. When it came to the actual netball, the Aussie men went down in the final to New Zealand, while the women made amends, defeating New Zealand by 12 goals. It's their second straight World Fast Five Series title, and means the Aussie women have won every international netball tournament in 2023. Not a bad year. Ooh. Now it's time for some stories that'll make you wanna hold your breath. <gasps> First up to this nail-biting video of people ice skating on top of a lake in Alaska. Look how clear that ice is. Of course, now is the time I should say don't try this at home, though I don't think that's going to be a problem for us in Australia anytime soon. Luke here is a professional ice rescue coordinator, so he knew what he was doing and says he tested the lake to make sure the ice was thick enough for skating. Now to India, where 2.2 million deer lamps were lit to celebrate Diwali. It's a huge attempt to break the world record for the most number of small oil lamps lit at the same time. But they'll have to hold their breath because it's yet to be confirmed if they succeeded. And finally, to the US, where the Hero Dog Awards took place over the weekend. These dogs have all done courageous or remarkable things. This year's winner was Maverick, a therapy dog who works with US troops. Well, that's all from us today. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>